Today I'm going to show you how an everyday person, just a regular Joe, can make money investing in real estate. JJ from New York, this is your show. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey, folks, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search Analysis Show on Holton Wise TV. Of course, I am your host, James Wise, guys. And uh, what we're talking about, right? What we're doing. Talking about making money in real estate, right? Making cash flow, getting that monthly cash flow, which, by the way, you know, a little little schmugma on here, but if you guys like this hoodie, uh, go ahead and use promo code HWTV10 for a 10% off discount. You could click below to order the hoodie or other various Holton Wise TV merchandise. Uh, you know, we even got uh, coffee mugs, right? We got the uh, Get Your Money Right coffee mug for the money show there, yeah? Uh, HWTV10, 10% off, right? But uh, that's not why you're here. You're not here to buy coffee mugs. And you're not here to buy T-shirts and hoodies, right? You're here to learn how to invest in real estate and have me and my team help you invest in real estate. And that's what I want to talk about today, right? You don't have to be super rich. I feel like a lot of people think you got to be rich to be a real estate investor. You don't, right? Uh, it's a blue-collar business, and, and you could be a blue-collar investor, which is what my dude, JJ, right? JJ's a blue-collar guy, works in a warehouse in New York. Now... Living in New York, okay, maybe you do have to be rich to invest in New York real estate. Maybe you do have to be rich to invest in California real estate, uh, but you don't have to be rich to invest in real estate in some of the, the low-cost states like Ohio, specifically the Cleveland, Ohio market, which is where the property we're talking about today is located. You can be a regular Joe and you can buy these properties, guys, with your regular jobs, right? Warehouse worker jobs, more than enough money to allow you to get in the game and slowly build up your net worth, give yourself an incredibly comfortable retirement, possibly even allow you to exit your full-time job sooner than you normally would have, right? And you do that by stacking together properties like this one. Two, 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 eight, four is still. Cleveland, Ohio, 44109. It's been on the market a long time. I think it went pending a couple times and it fell out of contract. Uh, when you're selling rental properties, you know, that's that's par for the course. I see a lot of people bidding on properties with either no ability to uh, actually close the deal or getting scared after they see inspections, things of that nature, right? We have... Uh, a lot of experience dealing with that, right, at Holton Wise. We're the number one seller of rental real estate in the market. But when you have other agents, they're probably not used to uh, dealing with investors or dealing with tenants and, and all the stuff. So you do see some of those properties uh, come and go often on the market, right? This is listed by Howard Hanna. That's a company where, you know, they're – very big company, but they're primarily, you know, think uh, suburban homes, white picket fence, husband, wife, two and a half kids, dog, white picket fence, that whole jazz, right? Uh, so this particular agent, maybe their business isn't focused on investments like ours is, right? Not many people are, okay? Most people see a home as a place for someone lives. We see it as an investment vehicle. So I'm not nervous about that. Uh, there's a couple other reasons why it might still be on the market, but I'll get into those. Uh, $63,777 is the listed price. Would not be a bad price for the particular property if this right here wasn't the case. There is a tenant in there paying $800 a month. Now, this particular property, here's the good thing about this property, JJ. This property is a four-bedroom, two-bathroom home. We're not dealing with a normal 3-1. We're dealing with a 4-2. So market rent, especially when you go out the Section 8 program for a 4-2 in this neighborhood, we're looking at 1100 So if we were at market rent, we'd be bringing in $13,200 a year. Now, if you break that out with your your typical monthly expenses, 1100 comes in, an average of 500 goes out, leaving you with an NOI of 600 or $7,202 a year. Uh, just so you know, for the variance, obviously I'm aware that 600 times 12 is not 7202 uh, We uh, we uh, 
what's the word? We round, right? We round, okay? A couple cents. <laughs> if you're worried about it being uh, like uh, $600 and like 36 cents on average a month or something like that, if that 36 cents is something that matters to you, trust me, brother, real estate investing ain't for you, right? Uh, but that's why there's the variance if anyone was wondering. Okay, so... 7200 bucks a year is what this bad boy could bring in as far as the price and as far as it being on the market i think it's been on the market uh because what i talked about earlier right coming and going off the market number one number two i think that low rent is hurting it right i think that's hurting the value there uh if it was already rented to a section 8 tenant at 1100 i feel like people would pick it up at the list price so let's take advantage of that let's try to pick it up for fifty-five thousand, right because we know currently right now tenants only paying 800 it's not as attractive maybe the other investors that are looking at this aren't aware that they could actually tack on another $300 a month to that rent right and the tenant is month to month so you can't theoretically raise the rent whenever you want with a 30-day notice if we pick it up at 55k and we finance it you're only gonna need 13,750 JJ I know you're working with like 35k in cash right so this is a solid deal for you dude because you know, you're still going to have a bunch of money left over to move on to the next deal, okay? Bank will loan you 41 and if we got that tenant all the way up to market rent, that would be a 37.2% return on our investment, okay? Now, here's the thing, though. I don't think it's totally plausible for you to assume that you can get the existing tenant up to 1100 Is it possible? Yes. Is it totally plausible? Probably not. What's more likely is you probably will see a turnover. As far as what we need to do at a turnover to get us to 1100 we're probably going to have to do a full cosmetic reno, right? The, the pictures, they only gave us two, just the two outside pictures, which that doesn't scare me because, again, it's very, very hard to work with tenants, especially when you're a residential realtor who's used to you know, just selling homes to families that are going to live there, right? Tenants don't like you coming in their houses bothering them, number one. Number two, there's a little something called coronavirus in 2020, which makes it even worse, right? So that doesn't scare me. Uh, we would just assume the worst, right? Uh, which is, is reasonable because they've been in there a long time at 800, right? So don't think that there's any real scenario here where you, you move them out and then you just vacuum and then you get a new tenant on Section 8 paying that 1100 it's probably not going to happen dude you're probably looking at at least 10k to do everything walls floors new fixtures in the kitchens and the baths right when we go to market rent guys when we go to market to get the top notch rent we need to do full cosmetic turnover especially when we have like four five six seven year tenants things of that nature guys we got to get fresh paint everywhere right thinking like agreeable gray paint we got to remove carpets. We got to buff hardwoods. We got to make sure the kitchens and the baths have modern looking fixture. None of that like oak stuff from like the 90s doesn't work, right? So I would anticipate 10, maybe $15,000 to get it totally tip top shape, but then you're bringing in 1100 a month. That's if you got to do that turnover. I'm not sure if that's going to happen because, again, it's an unknown, right? We do have a tenant paying 800 The property does cash flow. If you picked it up at 55 k uh, and you have an $800 tenant, it cash flows, right? So your goal shouldn't actually be to get to that 1100 as fast as possible. Your goal should be to take as much of that money as you possibly can right now. Maybe move that tenant up, up the ladder slowly, right? Like uh, try to get them up to 850 do that for a year, then get them up to 875, 900, 950. See what I'm saying? Like, you don't want to create that artificial turnover. You shouldn't be in a hurry to do a ten, fifteen thousand dollar renovation. You should be in a hurry to invest in a solid property, extract as much rent out of the current occupant as you possibly can, and then one day they're going to naturally turn over, guys. That's what happens, right? That's why when I do the chart, right, there is repairs. And maintenance, because most of that is going to come at your turnovers, and there's vacancy and non-payment. We account for all that, because in this business, turnovers are part of the game. We don't collect 100% of the rent. We don't keep our properties 100% occupied. It'd be great if we did, but that's just not practical, right? So you should try to get as much of that existing rent coming in, slowly move them, and then when they do move out, take that opportunity to put together a bang and renovation on this, get this freaking looking great and then get yourself on the section 8 program get yourself that eleven hundred dollars a month and then it's going to be smooth sailing from there well 
<laughs> I mean, I guess it's never totally smooth sailing in real estate. Uh, that's part of the business, but as smooth as humanly possible, right? That's what I would do. Uh, that's why I like this property, and I like the fact that we could probably negotiate them down a little bit, pick it up for you for 55 So, JJ, reply to this private email. If you'd like to move forward with my plan on this property, my team will write up the offer for you. Let us know exactly how much you want to offer. I recommend we try to get it. Uh, at the price point of 55000 of course, we'll make it contingent on a third-party home inspection. And if anything major that I'm not anticipating comes up, I'll try to renegotiate the price, right? What I'm anticipating here, based upon the information I was given and the lack of information on some things, such as the age of mechanicals, I'm anticipating a property with a furnace, a hot water tank, and a roof that are mid to end of life. I'm not going into this assuming all three of those are going to need to be replaced in the next like 12 months, but under no circumstances do I assume any of those are brand new. I accounted uh, for those eventually being replaced in the capital expenditures line of the budget, uh, but that's what I'm anticipating. But if we, we go into the inspection and it turns out three of those items are trashed or something like that, that gives me uh, a reason to go back to the sellers and try to work out an even better deal for you. If for whatever reason this property doesn't make sense to you, just give me your feedback and I will take that into account when we do your next video. Everybody else out there who just stumbled on Holtmeyer's TV and you stick with me through the whole show here and you watch this and you're like, hey man, seems like this guy knows what he's talking about. I want to get involved in real estate investing, but I live in California and I can't spend $600,000 on a single family home. I didn't know you could buy houses for 10% of that out there in the Midwest. If if that makes sense to you, you want to learn a little bit more, just go ahead and email my team, sales at holdenwise.com. Just provide us your contact info, your phone number. We'll hop on a call with you, explain to you our process. We are top to bottom, guys. We do it all. We will help you buy the property. I'll give you the education in the show. We'll act as your buyer's agent. We have property management. Uh, we have full service, construction, rehab. We do it all, right? We help you buy it. We'll manage your tenants. We're the people dealing with your tenants. We are the people doing these renovations. We even can insure it and help you with the title work when we do make the purchase, right? Top to bottom turnkey services. That's what we do. So sales at HoltonWise.com. Get on a call with our team, or you can just order yourself the MLS Search Analysis packages uh, by clicking the show notes below or going to the Property Search tab on HoltonWise.com. That's all I've got for today's show, folks. Brand new viewers, do yourself a favor. If you're not ready for any of that stuff I just said, at least smash that subscribe button because HoltonWise TV is real estate investing made easy. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.